Wales against Uruguay is the final game in Pool D at this year's Rugby World Cup and the final pool game of all the matches. It is going ahead, unlike the France-England game and possibly even the Scotland against Japan game. And Scotland are seriously taking that very, very serious. But anyway, the game in focus is Wales against Uruguay. Wales come into this game with all wins in the matches. So they've beaten Australia, they've beaten Georgia and they beat Fiji. But boy, was it close and nervy. Uruguay have got that one win, an incredible victory against Fiji. I think they'll go um, home quite proud of what they've managed to do. To beat Fiji is an incredible achievement. But so tired against Georgia and maybe Australia were just that step too high for them. Wales, you don't feel really have hit their stride properly yet. But it's a much changed side for Wales and we're going to go through both teams in just a second. Both teams have faced each other just the once back in 2015 in the Rugby World Cup. Wales running out winners 54-9 on that day with a pretty rotated side. So the teams have been announced, we'll go through them now. I want to hear your thoughts of course, so do let me know your thoughts on the team in the comments down below. Obviously I will know more about the Wales team on the Uruguay side, but I'll point out a few players to definitely keep your eye out on in this one. So we'll start with the Wales one, it'll come up on your screen so you can follow it along with me. So we'll start with the front row. In the front row, Gatland has gone for Nicky Smith, Ryan Elias at hooker and Dylan Lewis playing in the number three shirt. Then a partnership of Bradley Davis who came in of course um, over because of Corey Hill's injury. So he came over, he plays alongside Adam Beard who again came to the World Cup late because he had to get his appendix removed all of a sudden. Just before they were to leave Heathrow, he got ill and the team doctor suggested that he got it checked out and he had to get his appendix removed. Shingler comes in, who's done a decent job off the bench. He plays in the number 9-6. Tipperick plays at 7, coming back in for this game and captaining the side. Really excited to see what he will do, hopefully with a little bit more ball in hand. Avon Wainwright has been the standout player for me for Wales over the past um over the past few games really and over uh, the summer warm-up games he's been outstanding for club and country he plays at number eight hopefully he'll get a little bit more time on the ball just to show what he can do moving on then to at the backs we have Alan Davis at scrum half so Thomas Williams doesn't get a start but Alan Davis does and it's gonna be interesting to see how he plays he ha I don't think he's played at all yet at the World Cup, this is an opportunity for him to show what he can do starting in a Wales shirt. Yes, it's a lesser opposition, but he's got to take that opportunity. Patchell goes at 10, bigger, uh, wasn't fit for this game, but I think even if he was, I don't think Gatlin would have picked him. Hallam Amos then comes on the wing, first game for him at the World Cup as well. Excited to see how he goes. The centre partnerships, Hadley Parks at 12, so he keeps his place in this team. Owen Watkin comes in. I'm really excited to see how he does. I've been a huge fan of his for the last two seasons once he's broken through at the Ospreys. And when he's come off the bench, he's done a good job for us. He's shown ambition. He looks comfortable with the ball in hand and in the contact area. Really excited to see how he goes. Josh Adams is the other player to keep his position. Obviously, concerns about his knee last week against Fiji, but he's all fit to go. So Josh Adams comes in once again, being the, one of the informed players for us. And Lee Halfpenny starts at 15. First game of the World Cup for him. It's strange, isn't it? What has happened to Lee Halfpenny? Is it just that Liam Williams has been so strong? Is that why he hasn't been in the team? But Lee Halfpenny will offer that goal-kicking option as well. As you can see, a very heavily rotated side. Really exciting to see how this team goes, especially keep an eye out on Owen Watkin, as I said. Ala Davis at scrum half. Um, and keep an eye out on Wainwright at eight as well. Now we'll look at the Uruguayan team. Obviously, I'm not that uh, familiar with it, but as I said before, point your... Uh, point your eyes in the direction of one or two key players to keep an eye on. Once again, we'll start with the forwards. So Sanguinetti is um, starting the front row with Kessler and Avello. Then we have Dotti and Lendeher, um at locks. We have Gaminara, who's the captain. He plays at six alongside Civetta and Niello, who is at eight. Number nine, Santiago Arata. Keep your eyes out on him. Scored against Fiji, a real live wire of a scrum half. Plays out in the MLR with Houston Sabercats. Do keep an eye out on him. He will look to dart around the base of the rooks and go round those props who maybe in the 60th minute are blowing a little bit harder. 
Out of 10, then Berkesi. 11 is Freitas, who has had a decent World Cup himself. Villaseca is at 12 alongside Kat. 14 then is Levas, and 15 then is Mieres. So Uruguay will come into this game. They don't expect anything out of it, but they just want to be show what they can do. Be proud of their performance. They don't want to have an absolute mauling. But once again, Wales will look to put the points on. A bonus point is a must, even though we're more than likely to qualify out the group just with the win on top. But the most important thing is to secure the win first, and then we can start thinking about bonus points. And then we can start thinking about trying different things out. We can't underestimate Uruguay. We saw what happened for Fiji when they underestimated them. And we saw what happened for us when we underestimated Fiji in that first half. This Uruguay team can punish you. They stuck in it with Australia for 20 minutes or so. And I expect them to do the same against us. And we haven't had a long time to rest. Although the team has very much changed, that could hinder us. It's such a changed team. Some of these players won't have played together. Some will never play together. It's going to be interesting to see how we do. I do think we'll have enough and I do think we'll get the bonus points. I mean, I'm going to bank Wales to do this, but I'm excited to see what Uruguay can do. But that's my predictions. Wales to win the group. That's my preview. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the videos on the channel. And I'll see you after the game. Peace.